Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Let's Play Galerian's Ash. Uh, this is an obscure PS2 sci-fi survival horror game that is the sequel to an equally obscure PS1 game just called Galerian's. I played the first hour of this years ago during a Halloween stream, and I've thought about it quite a bit since then. It left, uh, especially its imagery, left a really strong, lasting impression. Um, it just seems really cool. It has a bit of Parasite Eve influence as well. But I've been puzzled about how I'm going to go about this, because again, it's a sequel. Uh, so I thought about watching an LP of the first game, but I don't absorb the story very well that way. And I tried to play it, couldn't really get into it, especially on a deadline. Uh, so how I got caught up on this was through a rip of an OVA that was put up on YouTube. It's called Galerian's Rion, uh, based on the events of the first game. There are also light novels that adapt the first game, but I did not read those. Uh, luckily, this game is going to catch us up itself, so we can jump in for this weird journey to see if this is a hidden gem, uh, which may or may not be, but my initial impression is that there's at least some really cool stuff in here. The year was 2522. Michelangelo City was being operated by Dorothy, a mother computer with capabilities for self-judgment and self-replication that served the citizens of the city ensuring peace and harmony in their lives. However, a fundamental doubt crept into Dorothy's mind. Why is it wrong to destroy humans and other inferior systems? Why, if humans kill each other, is it wrong for me to kill them? As these questions led Dorothy's thinking into a downward spiral, she was taught of the existence of God by her creator, Dr. Steiner. He told her of how people's lives have a fate and destiny which are decided by the God which created them, that her creators were human, so she must live as they have decided. On the surface, it seemed like Dorothy had accepted this explanation and once again began to serve mankind. But unaware to anyone else, she carried out repeated simulations of the existence of a God and arrived at a terrible conclusion. This conclusion was known as the Family Program. Using her abilities to control operations at the city's memorial hospital, Dorothy began to experiment on the control of human genes. Her aim was to create the Galarians, a breed of humans with psychic powers for which she would be the sole creator. To the Galarians, Dorothy was both creator and god. Dorothy created her own world so that she would become such a god. Aware of her behavior, Dr. Steiner developed both a virus program capable of destroying Dorothy and a program for launching this virus. He downloaded the virus program into the brain of Lilia, the daughter of his co-researcher, Dr. Pascali, and the launch program into the brain of his own son, Rian. Dorothy abhorred, above all other things, the one and only virus program which could destroy her, and she dispatched the Galarians, Birdman, Reinhardt, Rita, and Kine, to destroy it. The conflict between the humans and Dorothy took the form of a battle between Rian and the Galarians, and all of the Galarians were eventually killed. But Kine, identical in appearance to Rion, left him a parting message. Rion, you too are a Galarian. And this is no lie. The true Rion is already dead, and what remains is a Galarian into whom his human memories have been downloaded. Did you just call me? No. That's weird. I could have sworn I heard somebody call my name just now. I didn't hear anything. Uh. Come on, Rian, let's go. Right, Lilia. Let's go see Dorothy. I need to see Mother. Mother. So that just straight up reused some footage from the OVA. Um, the opening cutscene catches you up about as well as, as can be expected, better than I could have, uh, based on the hour of footage I watched. So Dorothy is a man-made AI god, Rion is our main character, but he's really a clone 
of uh, the real Rion with the memories of him, which begs a lot of existentialist questions that will probe in time. Uh, and a lot of theological questions about the nature of God and man's relationship to them. Reinhardt! <laughs> Not Reinhardt. From the Sirius family. Reinhardt Sirius. <laughs> uh, and they were all the bosses from the previous game. Rita, Reinhardt, <laughs> Birdman, and Kane. Or Kine, I think they pronounce it. Pretty sure it's supposed to be Kane. Birdman. Uh, and these are all the pods that they emerged from because they are Galerians, including Rion. Our Rion. Uh, they're like a race of genetically engineered psychics that Dorothy made as part of her family program. Because uh, she wanted someone to worship her like a god. found a Rion, uh, a Rion cane type Galerian file. I have no idea what that is. Uh, and then Lillian, uh, Lilia, sorry, and Rion together can upload some kind of special virus into Dorothy. Uh, and I think that's what we are in the middle of right now is the ending of Galerians. Enhanced psychic powers can be utilized by injecting psychic power enhancement chemicals, PPECs, into the body. Oh yeah, did I tell you the kids are on drugs? Injections are extremely painful, making the usage of PPECs by normal humans impossible. Even Galerians will experience severe headaches if PPECs are used too much. Let's learn about combat. If mental concentration is uh, continued and your power is released after reaching the required level, Full psychic power gauge, a psychic attack will be launched to attack a target. It's attack too many times. Only Nalkin can be used over short distances to attack with single shock waves, hold down square, uh, build up and release. Okay. Use drugs, cast psychic spells. Cool. That's what Nalkin and red and all that is. Addiction point. Cylinder gauge. I thought the AP was supposed to be for action points. Uh, let's see, is there anything unique about how HP works in this? Reach zero, you die, take a healing item. Addiction is a side effect of using PPECs. Addiction points increase as actions are taken. Enemy attacks, psychic power usage, and radioactivity are factors that greatly increase addiction points. When AP reaches critical level, uncontrolled behavior or shorting occurs, greatly damaging foes nearby. However, this results in large drops in HP. And Delmator should be on hand to lower AP to zero. Delmator is like an inhibitor drug. Uh, as you use psychic powers, the level of PPEC in your body will drop. If it reaches zero, you'll not be able to use the powers again. Use psychic powers again. You'll have to inject new PPECs in the form of liquid in a cylinder. We have to inject the liquid from the cylinder. And get crazy strung out on psychic dream drugs. Cool, cool, cool. Just gobble down the dream shit. Uh, so now that we've inspected all the pods... Okay, it's triangle to swap between them. Cool. I remember not reading that. Um, the first time that I played the first hour of this game years ago, and being incredibly confused about how all of this works. Plus, I didn't even have the context of the story of the first game. So it's just nonsense words. Nalkin and fucking Delmator. Uh, uh, what the hell? This, this voice, it's inside my head. Uh, 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 uh. My brain! My brain! It feels like something's being written into my brain! What the hell was that?
But the sound design here is actually really good. Oh, okay. The soft lock on kind of fucks me up, but this isn't that bad. I think that's their HP in the upper left corner when you lock onto it. Aw, little dude only has one. Oh, this is cool! Did I lift the one on the left up as well? I wonder if I'm gonna get more variations of drugs. Or if it's just Nalkin, Red, and uh, the other one. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh wait, oh. I wasn't locked on to anything. I was trying to change it mid-animation. Oh, it's a big ol' AOE. That's really good. I love the name D Felon. Yeah, and all these powers are level one. Yeah, I remember being really confused over the UI before. These are all just all the drugs we take. And yeah, I think this is legit just starting where Galerians ends. I think we're starting like in the middle of the last game's climax and replaying a little as an extra catch-up, which is honestly a cool idea. I'm a little unsure if these things spawn indefinitely, or if I need to fight them or what, but Lilia is still cowering, so I think that's a sign that I need to keep fighting. They're gonna try and max my addiction gauge out really early, huh? Well, I picked up a Delmator. I think that's finally it. This is just such an alien environment to be to, to find yourself in right off the bat that it's actually pretty off-putting. Uh, and some of the coolest imagery of the opening is coming up still. One of the things that really grabbed my attention in the first place like someone is controlling you. Are we getting meta right off the bat? Oh, Galerians, you spoil me. Uh, so by the way, this is a blind LP of this game. Uh, and the reason that I'm entering into this, especially with something this obscure, is because I found it fascinating when I first played it, and there's something more to it. And it's the thought that, hey, maybe this is going to end up a hidden gem, and I'm always interested in taking a risk for one of those. Like, whenever you go back and find a hidden gem, like a genuine hidden gem left behind in the past. It feels amazing because it makes you immediately think how many other amazing games are out there that I've never heard of that have just been out there this whole time. I think that's really cool. And I felt like that when I, I played Galerian's Ash. It made me curious. Also, nightmare creatures. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy 
appreciate nightmare creatures. Game of forever. Oh, it's really good. I'm gonna have to do that one too one day. Holy shit. Oh, these heavily armored boys with the shields are actually uh, enemies that Rion fights in the beginning of the OVA. Oh, I thought he did it using this power. I think it was actually some kind of lightning, but I only have Nalkin, Felon, and Red. So it may have been him shorting when he killed them. Uh, and since my AP is already so high, maybe that's how I'm meant to fight them. Like, this is the fight that is meant to properly introduce you to that, uh, that addiction mechanic. Also, I, I, there's something really cool about just the thought that there's a game this good that's existed forever, and I never knew about it. I think that's really powerful and alluring. And again, always worth taking a risk on a game like that. Okay, I'm gonna have to circle around, probably while they're shooting. It's easier said than done, but here comes the short. Yeah, that's a really cool looking effect too, and it's just instant kills for them. I think I just pop a Delmator. Who the hell are you? Lilia. Lilia? Don't be stupid. Lilia's here. I didn't mean to shock you, but I'm Lilia from the So, so long as I am in that quasi-avatar state, I will rapidly lose HP. But we just reset that to zero with the Delmator, and looks like we're all back to good. Last Galerian R&D Area 1. I'm not sure what the purple flame was. Oh, it moved. So it's, the controls are a, a little bit clumsy by today's standards, I won't lie. But they're not that bad. It's just something that might take a little bit getting used to. Uh, but it's on, honestly not terrible at all. And there's some stuff about it that I find pretty satisfying so far, like this. Holy shit, that's really fun! And up and down.
I think the only thing that's kind of getting me is the lock on is a it's more of a suggestion. It gets bored very easily and goes away to do something else. The only other thing is I could use maybe a little bit more guidance about whether or not these are supposed to be infinite, because they do feel... Okay. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm the asshole. <laughs> that first one, that first fight did go on for a second, though. Uh, that reset back to the center. Let's see what's up with this. Okay, this is a thing. Just follow it around? I kinda remember this now. It's so rude, it's just gonna make me move back and forth across the room a bunch of times to waste my time. This... Whatever it is on the wall, this wall fixture, or, like, maybe the mouth is supposed to open up into a door? Or it's just a real ornate decoration. Either way, it's radical. Also, one last little fuck you, making me walk across the room again, one last time. There's an unlock switch. Sure, let's use it. Connecting the bridge. That's over here. Cool. Oh, let's go meet our favorite Shodan. Dorothy. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited, actually. Oh, holy shit. It's like skinless hunters. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not fucking with these. I'm on a mission. Uh, what are you? Oh, this is a save point. I don't have a memory card. Uh, I have to buy a new one because I don't feel like going back to the electronics department in my closet to search through a, a 50 pound tote of wires and bullshit. Was there... Oh, I can interact with the darkness. It's really, really dark. Dare you defy me? 
But it isn't defiance. It's just the truth. I can't do it. Rion, you, you must, must not be deceived, deceived by your memory. It is not your own. I loaded it into your brain from the real Rion. You are a Galarian. I made you. I am your god and creator. Now, be a good boy and listen to me. Trust me, Rion. You must remember seeing this place before. Even if you did give birth to me. Even if you're the one to be called my creator. I'm not... Your slave. Let's end this. Ready, Lilia? What are you going to do? Wait. There's, There's no, no need, need to do this. this. Stop. You are my greatest failure. I, I should, should never have created you. I should never have raised you. I command you to die. Death shall be your only salvation. Rion, you are nothing but data. Your body, your feelings. And everything going on around you. It's just playing over and over in the backup memory of a destroyed Dorothy. I'm accessing the backup memory now. Trust me! Is it Dorothy Rad? I cannot wait to dig more into this. For now, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.